Hey guys, so I'm not sure if this is going to really be helpful to many people, but um, I figure I'll just pass on some uh, some info. Uh, E31, that is S62 swapped. Customer did not have air conditioning. The shop who did it um, did a really crappy job and just literally just put in a, a switch that just engaged the compressor. Didn't do anything else. It was just a separate button that they hacked up. Um, so I wanted to get it working. I took a lot of time to go through the ETM and to see exactly how the system works. So this is an 840 car. Uh, it's a similar system on a uh, M70 car, um, but it's a little different. So check the ETM to get the specifics. For this particular car, to get it to work, um, the when you hit the snowflake button, it sends a signal from the IHKA to the pressure sensors here at the um, at the headlight that it's a it's a ground uh, signal it's a ground that goes through the pressure sensors that ground then would normally go to the DME the DME would uh, make sure like the engine's not overheating or it's not under full load and as long as it uh, passes all the little checks it would then ground the uh, compressor relay and that would send power to the compressor so with the s62 DME it didn't have that in there that wasn't wired up also the s62 DME DME uses CAN bus, so I really couldn't have worked anyway. Uh, so what I did was I noticed in the ETM that the ground not only goes, it goes through the sensors, and then not only goes to the DME, but it also goes to the auxiliary fan relay, to the middle pin. So what I did was, knowing that the middle pin gets a ground as long as those sensors check out, I just ran a jumper wire from the auxiliary fan relay to the trigger for the compressor relay where the DME would normally trigger it with the ground. Um, I just ran a, just a jumper wire right here. Mine was, my, the, the compressor relay was actually here in the um, online it listed as being over here, K19. So double check which one you have. Um, the other, this relay here actually ended up being the intensive wash relay. So when I clicked the, um, the uh, snowflake, it just turned on the uh, the washer pump so I knew it was I knew it was working so um, I believe it's pin two but just double check pull the relay take a multimeter it's going to be either pin one or pin two if pin one has power with the key on then you know that pin two is actually the trigger and vice versa so ran that there and now when you hit the snowflake button or turn on the air conditioning it sends that ground through the sensors. The sensors then turn on the auxiliary fan, and now the auxiliary fan relay is jumped to the compressor relay. That engages the compressor. So we still have the safety of the sensors. We don't have any of the DME information, uh, or the DME checks, rather. Um, I did order a module from Race German that uses CAN bus. It's a, like a CAN bus adapter, so that I could wire it into the uh, S62 DME to still get the idle bump and have the uh, safety on the um, RPM and whatnot. So even as it sits right now, this does work. It doesn't get the idle bump and you don't have some of the safety on the, on the DME side of things, but um, fully functional, works well, simple fix. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody out there.